Good morning. I'm back and it has been a while. Today I want to talk about a few things. The first thing I want to do is I want to announce the winners of my last giveaway that I did on my June 25th video. And then I want to talk with you about how I made my CPAP machine, my mask, and all that much, much more comfortable. I, I could not find anything online and I just thought, well, I'm gonna put my thinking cap on and try a few things and it ended, work, it ended up working out. And then of course, there's always gonna be a little chit chat at the end. The first thing I'm going to do is announce the winner. So I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. And what I am gonna buy and have sent to you is the Sydney Grace collaboration palettes with Mary Glitzy Fritzy. And I am wearing eyeshadow today and it's it's the Mary Glitzy Fritzy Blessed Palette in Light. So I'm gonna refresh your memory on this. In a previous video, I did a really, what I consider a wow look using some really bright colors, pretty shades. I'll put the picture in or link or whatever to it. And today I did a neutral look and what I used was My Savior, Pop Nongi, Lil Bit, and Pita. And I think that's it. That's the one that's named after me, Emmy After 60. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and announce the winners and things have changed since the last time. I don't know if any of you noticed it. I think a few of you did. But the last time when I uploaded my video, everybody's names or handles or whatever you call them, I don't know what they are, changed. And some of them, of you, I recognized. And some of people had an entirely different name. But I knew by what they were saying in the comment section who it was. But thankfully, when I went to Random Comment Picker and I uploaded all the names, they actually came out with the uh, a proper name. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and everyone here will get their wish, their desired. I had a choice between light and dark. Random comment picker will no longer do the whole comment. So it, you may not see the word light or dark, but I did. I looked it up to make sure so everything changes. In fact, I thought, how am I gonna do a video? Because anyway, it was kind of a challenge. The first name that came up is Rita Gibbons. Congratulations, Rita. The second name was Shirley Eads. Congratulations, Shirley. The next one was Christina T. Congratulations, Christina. And the next name was Lynn Carr. Congratulations, Lynn. And the last winner was Pam G. So, be sure, if these are your comments and this is you, be sure and leave a comment below and I will reply to your comment and let you know how to get in touch with me. If by some chance the palettes are sold out, we'll do something different, but hopefully they're, they're back in stock. These, I'm going to order these from Sydney Grace and they'll be sent directly to you. And I will have to tell you, I have been wearing eyeshadow for 55 years and the Sydney Grace formula. If it's not the best, it's one of the best formulas that I've ever used. I just touch my brush in it and I apply it and it, it doesn't overwhelm. You can get a sheer look. You can get a very pigmented look. It just depends on how you use your brush. So I just thought you did a fabulous job, Mary, and I'm so happy to get these palettes for my viewers that wanted them, and uh, hopefully there'll be more things coming from you. Now I'm gonna talk about my CPAP, and this may not be interesting to some of you, so I will put a time up here when you can skip ahead, but if you use the CPAP, know somebody who uses a CPAP, or just like general information, I thought I'd share this with you. I didn't ever share my machine. It's a ResMed 11. I have it unplugged, but it's this small in this light. It has a water reservoir that goes there, turns on and off. It's, it's very simple, it has a long hose attached. So that is a CPAP machine. And several people that I know personally, from the first night they used this, they were in love. But that was not the case with me. I did a video and I'll put it up here in the cards and link it below 
it was happy or not, it, I think it was in April. And I had said that I was like 65% okay with it, but what I was doing was not working. And I'll show a picture, put a picture in here of what I use to make it a little bit more comfortable. What's important with your CPAP, I mean, there's all different kinds of masks. There's all different kinds, but I'm kind of claustrophobic. And I just wanted something to cover the smallest area possible. But one thing you wanna make sure is you have the good suction, that the air isn't escaping. So that's where a lot of tweaking had to go in when I was working on this. The hot pink makeup erasers that I had put on the cheekbone area were too thick. They were more, they were comfortable, but I didn't realize it was kind of pushing the apparatus away from my nose. So I had to start fresh. So the first thing I thought about was a silk scrunchie. So I had this color of silk scrunchie and I had two of these. So I cut one up and I put it up on the side and it didn't work. It was too thin, but it would have been good. So the next thing I did, I looked for some thinner, fabric that was soft and I didn't have any. I just didn't have anything that worked. I thought of moleskin, but then you've got to wash it. You know, it has to be something that's washable. I looked on Amazon for the least expensive makeup remover wipes and I ordered them. Any of you who sew, you know that the more stitches per inch, the stronger it is. Well, like this makeup eraser, the stitches were very close together. So this was easily removed. And it came out, to, I cut it in two and it came out like this. Well, I gotta show you. This is how this is supposed to look. And I love the ears. I have two different types. I have a nasal cushion and a nasal pillow. So now I hope this is gonna start making sense. This is my nasal cushions and these work perfectly well. It's close enough to my face that I don't, air doesn't escape and pull this away from my nose. This is just kind of like a sling with two hose. This goes in the back, this goes on the side, and this goes on the top and your hose is attached. And this is comfortable. And this is the ResMed N30i, I believe is what this one is. And it's good, but it's not, it's, it's kind of big and in the winter I think it's better than in the summer. Well, this is the nasal pillow. And these go behind your ear. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I'm gonna try. But they're stretchy and they're thin. And after you've worn it two nights, it made my ears so sore. So I cut a small amount of this fabric and sewed them around the earpiece. Oh my gosh, they are! it is so comfortable now. It doesn't look pretty, but this is all that I have to put on. These are washable, you can remove them, you can make new ones, but I just did a whip stitch, just whip stitched it around, and I've been using this probably the most. And this is Bella Swift, I, is the name of this one. But the this is the ear gear, and they also have a headgear that comes with it. And again, these are the, this is the nasal pillow, they go up in your nose, and I made this for the straps that hit your cheeks. But I'm just really happy that this fabric works, that it makes it more comfortable. And I would say I am about 92.5% doing okay with my CPAP. But it just does make your CPAP feel more comfortable just making those little things and finding the right fabric, finding something that's washable, something that doesn't um, make you lose suction. So if there's anybody out there that I helped I am glad, and if I, if I screwed something up, I'll put it in the notes above. I, I, I really do try my best, but I, I enjoyed my time off. We did not go anywhere. I mean, we, would, we went out to eat. I really have not been feeling that great, and I'm having some adjustments with medication. Some of it's heart medicine, some of it's thyroid medicine, and, and, and adapting to the CPAP. I'm fine, but I am working on feeling better. So that, that's a good thing. I have nothing to complain about. As long as I feel like I am helpful in any way, I will continue to upload videos. I know in videos there's some changes. Anytime I have anything below, and I don't 
of my video when you hit the show more section and hit the show more section there's links to anything that I mentioned if it's a product I it is an affiliate link which means I have the ability to make a commission sometimes you don't but the ability is there and if I if I talk about something that I do not have a link to I'm gonna write it in up here We'll talk, that way you won't be confused and I can say the, these are affiliate links and, and that doesn't mean anything other than I get a commission from your purchase and if it's um, either Amazon or Ulta or any place that I have a link that is what that means so I'll always just type it in here like I always type good RX you know that and something this has nothing to do with this but I do want to let you all know if you don't know about Mark Cuban Pharmacy you might want to check into it I mentioned it once before that I get one of my medications from the Mark Cuban Pharmacy it is $477 is the cheapest I can get it locally and through Mark Cuban Pharmacy I can get it to my home for $52 it has to be generic but talk to your doctor about it. Talk to your healthcare provider. Yeah, it's it has saved me some money. Too bad Eloquist isn't there. I would like that a lot. Be sure to be watching for sales coming up in September around Labor Day. I've learned any any type like my skincare that I use is pretty well always on sale around every holiday. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging in there with me. It is all good. I will see you in my next video in two weeks and take care. And if I wash it, if... <laughs> wow. Well, I purchased, kind of start from start, the tighter something is, I have absolutely nothing to, so I just had to, and um, 